Residents of Pavi, Menard Hill, and Rock Hall are hailing recent community sensitization meetings as part of a broader campaign to rid the neighborhood of unwanted solid waste a success. A cleanup drive is underway to inculcate proper garbage disposal practices in the surrounding areas. Alex Morgan, a police officer, is a resident of the Castries suburb. He says the meetings with the Solid Waste Management Authority are bearing fruit. We are very happy with, with the turnout at the meetings and the outcome. The questions that persons ask and the concerns that they raise, as well as the information that was shared by the various departments within government, so, um, namely the Solid Waste Management and the Environmental Health de Department. The assistance that they've given us, the insight that they've given people as to proper garbage disposal and uh, the, the, the effects of ve vectors in those areas. Um, we're very much pleased so, so far and that um, we've seen, we begin to, to realize a change in the area, especially for Pave, where the area by now, today, Sunday, um, they will have much more garbage in the bin than before. Morgan has a warning for non-residents who dump household refuse in the neighborhood's communal bins. It's an offense to take garbage from your area and drop it in somebody else's area especially if it's not being done on the day of disposal. I think your garbage is supposed to be done in your area and don't take it across to you. This, this is what the family concerns that the, pub, that, that the residents have, that persons are coming from all over the place, dumping garbage on the way to work, on the way from work, on the way to training, in the areas, even filling up the bins just as the trucks finish passing. Operations and landfill manager at the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, Marie Dalson, is happy with the residents' response to the meetings. She hopes they adhere to the regular garbage collection schedules. I find the residents a bit more educated now. They know exactly, in fact, I'll say they are more knowledgeable in terms of waste management, what is expected of them in terms of proper management of their waste in the various communities. Um, expecting from these two meetings that there will be um, a minimization of waste placed out on the roadside before a collection day. Because what we did was that we campaigned that residents keep their waste home and place it out the morning of collection, which is a, a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Saturday. Although solid waste management officials support the campaign to clear the neighborhood of bulk waste, they say residents must adopt sustainable waste disposal habits. It's a welcome challenge for the concerned citizens of Pave. If we continue, and it is not only for one time, I would say that those things should happen. And those, should, um, those are things that we should be always trying to, you know, um, have in a community to get together and to do the right thing, especially to keep the place clean. Because we know now they have several different viruses around and it can be caused by many, many things by the way we expose our garbage also and people, we can get sick in the community because of that. So I think it's a, it's a good move and a good intention. But what I'm saying is that and I want to see that it's, it, it don't happen only now, but it should be continu a continual thing. When you see a community is well kept, People from the outside don't just come and solid, dirt it up, you know. They only prongs on the communities that are dirty and not well kept. But if the people in Rockall decide to keep theirs clean, it will stay clean. The Grand Pave Community Cleanup is scheduled for March 1st, 2020. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.